Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I have not taken a break since last episode because I really want to know what's beyond these doors. Uh, in this, this world that is exactly like ours, somehow. And how we got here. How we got here is really the question I have. Because we fought that damn Seath guy and maybe through magics we, are, we got here? I don't know. Oh, there's blood stains goddamn everywhere. Look, man, I'm not ready for this shit. Hello? Hello? Silver Knight? You did not get stunned this time around. There we go. I think there's another one coming. Mm. Oh, good. Stun, stutter, please. Stutter more for me next time. Lots of people getting hit here. How about a fucking... All right, you know what? I'm gonna explore. Because fuck it. Okay. Okay, I can't... You can't stutter game. So they do get stumbled. Oh god, oh god, I am out of energy here. You know what? He's doing the same damage, man. Am I dead? I'm actually dead. This goddamn blade does the same damage and is majorly disappointing in what it does. It might bleed faster or something. I'm not sure. Ugh. Okay, that was a mistake. Somehow, that also fucked me, and I'm dead. Okay. This is why maybe I should have taken a break, but hey, you get fresh, fucking angry-ass Mathis, who is mad that he died as many times as he did against Champion Gundir. I'm curious how he ranks as some of the, like, difficulty in, boss in bosses. Like, is he considered one of the harder bosses? Because I feel like he wouldn't be. Let's roll down this way, shall we? It takes three hits to fuck these guys up, apparently. I want to roll up here. Maybe you'll stay dead, because that's like the sound people who stay dead make. Um, I'm sorry, how? Okay. It's like its own mini challenge here. This should be it then. Okay, you're dead, thank fuck. I would like to explore. <laughs> I'm afraid now, like, remember that guy with the fucking samurai sword and shit? Yeah, I'm afraid he's gonna be there. Like, I got my Uchi Katana, the thing that caught, carried me through probably the first 50% or more of this game. I am not excited about fighting whatever version of him exists in this fucking hellhole of a world. And let's not pretend it's anything else. Time for joy. 
Time for joy. Is that mine? It is. It actually is the same place. What the fuck? I am beyond confused right now. Fragment of the coiled sword of a bonfire which served its purpose long ago. Returns caster to the last bonfire used before resting, where the bonfire and firelink shrine can be used repeatedly. Bonfires are linked to one another irreversibly, retaining their affinity long after their purpose is exhausted. So because time is so beyond fucked in Dark Souls lore, this... She's still here. This could be the future. Hey. Well, fancy that. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? You still do the same. Oh. What the fuck? A vanquished knight left behind only old wolf's blood. And his legacy of duty, the undead legion of Farron, was formed to bear his torch. And the armor of these abyss watchers suggests their eventual end. This is Artorius's fucking armor. A vanquished knight. Helm of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss. The twilight blue tassel is damp and will ever remain so. Priestess ring. A a ring engraved to the portrait of a high priestess increases faith. In Lothric, the high priestess has long been considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule. The high priestess also served as a prince's wet nurse. You, my lady, are very interesting. White soapstone. We'll buy it. I'm taking Artorius's armor. And we'll take this ring too, just in case. To skirt the curse's grasp, tarry not for long. Tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already, like the poor girl. <laughs> to skirt like okay who what okay what the fuck is going on not. <laughs> what is going on Artorius's armor I gotta wear it man so that makes sense why the Farron's Keeper follow the wolf's blood which uh, was Artorius and his and his wolf, and the Abyss Watchers and all that stuff. God damn, that is cool. So he's long gone. Blacksmith hammer. I wonder if I can give that to him. And she say and she said she is trapped. I wonder who she means by that. Alright. Nobody's here. This is going to be a fun episode of exploration and trying to figure out what's going on. Because it sounds like Champion Gundir. He's all fucked up, had red eyes. I don't understand. Well. Eyes of a Firekeeper. She became a firekeeper? Reveals horrors to the sightless firekeeper. Pair of dark eyes, said to be the eyes of the first firekeeper. The first firekeeper, and the light that was lost by all firekeepers to come. 
It reveals to the sightless firekeepers things that should they should never see. Well, we know what she's getting. What the hell? She said the light is gone. So, the, the age of light is done. In this world, in this alternate history. Let's hear what she said one more time. Just to be sure. Well, Rod, what can? To skirt Harriet is dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps like the poor girl. <laughs> Captive already like the poor girl. What does that mean? Can I put my souls here? That'd be hilarious. I cannot. If I could put like the Lords of Cinders Cinders here. Man. What kind of fucked up weird time thing are we in right now? So he was here, but he's not anymore. Oh shit. Why was she locked in here? That's what's confusing me. Alright, let's swing up and around. So that's where I came in. A couple areas we can go and explore. We do have the tower key and all that stuff already. Let's make sure patches ain't here. Nope. Seed of a giant tree, alright. Can't go in there. This is scary a little bit. Not what I was hoping. Oh god, please do not jump off the edge. Okay. Well, that works. Hornet ring. This is the same area where he left his shit before. Hornet ring. Ring associated with the Lord's Blade Siren, uh, one of the four knights of Gwyn, the first lord. Boost critical attacks. The Masked Siren was the only woman to serve in Gwyn's four knights, and her curved sword granted a swift death to any and all enemies. Boost criticals, uh, critical attacks. Alright. Be wary of enemy. Oh, fuck. Do not like hearing be wary of enemy. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Please do not be Samurai Jack over here. I would prefer if he was not. Nope, somebody else is. Where the fuck did you come from? Seriously, though. Okay. Okay. Thank you for dying. Come again. I'll clear out anybody up here if I have to. For a world engulfed in darkness. Seems pretty tame to me. 
All right, I'm very afraid to come over here. Okay, looks like he's dead. Chaos Blade, yo, what? Chaos Blade. See, this can't be the future. Or is this like a world where I never showed up? Maybe that's what this is. A for dexterity, huh? Attacks also damage a cursed sword of unknown origin bearing uncanny streaks on its blade. Uh, attacks also damage its wielder. The sword, not, like un uh, not unlike a thing misshapen, granted life, but never welcome in this world. In other worlds, chaos itself. In other words, chaos itself. What? I actually can't go in there. None of this makes any goddamn sense. Maybe I'm supposed to come here, grab this stuff, and go back? Is this a dead end? Is this all optional shit? I mean, it would make sense if it was. Wait, this is where I fought him. Okay, we're back at the front. Got lost. I just don't understand how this leads into this. That's where I'm at a loss for words here. It just doesn't make any sense. How does this world exist? Okay. I'm gonna see if I can glitch my way up here because I know there's a way to do it. I need to like hit the jump at the right time and like break over this invisible wall, but they may have patched it out. It's possible. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's got to be more here, but for now, we can use this. Go to the shrine bonfire. We can always return here. It's just some weird dark world. And we'll do this. And let's talk to these guys. Hello. Welcome home, Spin. Give eyes of a fire Hello, keeper. Ashen. I can give it to her, or I wonder Come if I can give it to the other one. Ashen one, bring with. Is it not? All right, you're not. How about can I give you the blacksmith hammer? Ah, tis good. What need? Weapon, but went but shoot. Listen, I'm why can't I tell all of you guys about this shit? You were trapped in the other one. Oh, what do you wish to? You know, in my I would whip it all. All right, I have to give the the eyes to the firekeeper. God damn. 
Welcome home, speak them. Ashen one, are these... Are these eyes? How gracious of thee, Ashen One. The very things we firekeepers have been missing. Ashen One, my thanks for the eyes thou'st given. But firekeepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen One, is this truly thy wish? I don't know what the hell to answer. Farewell, mayst thou thy peace discover. Yo, the music changed. Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. All right, well. Why is the music all fucking weird? She's sad that I discovered a world without fire? Aha, thou dripped soul. The eyes show a world destitute of fire. A barren plain of endless darkness. A place born of betrayal. So, I willed myself, Lord, to link the fire, to paint a new vision. What is thine intent? What? The eyes show a world destitute of fire, a barren plain of endless darkness, a place born of betrayal. So, I willed myself, Lord, to link the f what is that? So wait, is that world the world you came from? I don't understand. This old cast iron halberd has the power to break poise and is said to never crumble, seeing, uh, seeming to suggest that Gundare was fated to eternal service from the beginning. Portion of a silver chain to restrain Gundare, gain vigor, endurance, and vitality, but take extra damage. A prisoner is one who has staked everything on a belief and pro pro uh, proclivity most apparent to the greatest of champions. I'll take this. I took the mantle of Lord of Cinder of mine own volition. I speak these words with pride. Choose thy fate alone. Seize it with thine own hands. All the more should thy fate entail such foul betrayal. Okay. I really don't know, man. I do not know what's happening. Did that world exist? I'm gonna talk to you. Ah, speak freely, thy lord. Our oh, lord, and I prithee when the moment the age of fire the gods are no our oh, lord of hollows. See, because I don't want to say I don't want a world without fire, because I want to take the fire for myself. Don't know, man. I'm gonna check something. I don't think I have one. We're gonna go back to where I got there, which was not through Aldrich. Where was it? Who did I kill? The dragon. He had a bonfire, didn't he? Which was through...
Edex. There it is. Osoros the Consumed King. I just want to check this area real quick. The doors that lead through. How does that make sense? Why were they sealed off? Like, what's here? I should check where uh, Eudex Gundir was as well. Eudex. Alright, so this is where I fought him. And, like, just leads into here. Tons of stuff just written on stone slabs and all kinds of shit. Stone slabs and stone slabs. No idea if any of that says anything. Dead snake creatures, which I can't remember what they're called. You're dead. And then here. So this area right here leads into here. Like whatever this area is supposed to be. It says, Visions of Hidden Path, Illusion Ahead. Was that an illusory wall that I can't remember? It was like, maybe it was blocked off by an illusion. Because then you come through here, it's just rock. And then a dark fucking world. And then yeah, I fall down. Right to there. So it's like a portal, man. Just straight in. I have no idea. It's so weird. Speed, this has to be one of the things I'm going to wiki, man. Because it just doesn't make any sense to me. But let's travel real quick to here. I just want to see if anything's changed. Like, did what I do change anything at all? Not even a little. That's the try gesture. Praise the sun. So Ludlith says he saw that world and he took it upon himself to make himself a Lord of Cinder. Did he like come from that world? I don't know. It's really weird, but I'm gonna Google that shit pretty quickly after I close this episode up. But before we do that, go to Firelink. Yeah, you get him. You get him. Naked lady with a club. Girl. The music has permanently changed. All right, let's just pump up our strength. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to wrap this up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to look up some stuff. If you did, come back next time. More Dark Souls. Consider dropping a like. Your support means the world to me. And as always, I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.